Juli, vi må komme her i dag og fejre delen med jer. Steven og jeg kom til Danmark for præcis et år siden i dag. Jeg kan ikke forestille mig et bedre sted at fejre vores et års jubilæum. Jeg vil gerne takke af alle sammen. Specielt for jeres varme velkomst under mit første år i Danmark. Today is special as we celebrate Gay Pride together. It is particularly special to the U.S. community here as it is the first time ever that the U.S. Embassy in Copenhagen is participating in Pride like this this week. And I promise you, it will not be the last. Now let me tell you why it is so important at the Embassy, and it's not principally the reason you think. It's not because of me. We are here today because America is finally catching up to countries like Denmark when it comes to LGBT equality and the commitment to protect LGBT people within our own country. We have come a very long way in the U.S. in the last 25 years since the first officially recognized gay unions were held right here in Copenhagen. I look forward to standing as a full partner alongside Denmark and other like-minded countries around the world as we fight and fight hard for further protection of LGBT people in our own countries and new protections abroad. We will work hard to offer the same protections against intimidation, discrimination and physical threats against LGBT people in other parts of the world. And we are privileged that we are privileged to have in the US and Denmark today in many places still, simply showing up in a square like this could lead to harassment, arrest, imprisonment, and even death. Thank you, sir, you're actually making my point. We can actually, you know, we can live in countries where we can debate and disagree. Thank you. My message, therefore, is simple. We have much more work to do. And as daunting as this task may seem, countries can change and they can change quickly. When President Obama was sworn into office just five years ago, only two states in the U.S. had marriage equality. Massachusetts, Stephen, in my home state in Connecticut. Five years ago, you could still get thrown out of the U.S. military for being gay. Five years ago, there were no legal rights for same-sex spouses working in the federal government. Five years ago, there was no federal hate crimes legislation. And five years ago, in nearly half of all the U.S. states, you could still be fired from your job or denied housing for being gay. Today, members of the U.S. military are proudly marching and organizing gay pride parades across the U.S. Today, federal workers and contractors get full protection for their same-sex spouses. Today, hate crimes legislation is the law of the land. Today, 19 states in the District of Columbia have full marriage equality and more states added every day, year, month. And instead of debating whether to amend the Constitution to define marriages between a man and a woman, we have a president who not only supports marriage equality, but works hard to protect it. I take great pride that my president used part of his second inaugural address to speak forcefully to those who oppose equal rights and justice for the LGBT community. He said, quote, our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law, for if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one, one another must be equal as well. Equal under the law. I emphasize this. I emphasize this in particular today, Gay Pride Day in Copenhagen, because we hear and see hatred and violence towards gays and transgender people coming out of countries like Russia, Uganda, Brunei, and Iran. Our communities and our governments must speak out together loudly and often in unified voices to combat these outdated philosophies and condoned atrocities. 
countries like the U.S. and Denmark stand together because both of us know what Martin Luther King meant when he said, quote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Those of us here today, those of us around the world, those of us of all genders and all religions and all races and all sexual orientations who believe that we are all created equal will not allow others to tell us what to think or who to love until everyone is treated freely, fairly, and equally. We are not done. You have not heard the last of us. We will be there every step of the way to fight for what is fair and what is just. Thank you.